Uh, my name is Noemi Gonda. I'm Hungarian and I'm a first year PhD student at, here at CEU at the Environmental Sciences and Policy Department. I was working in Central America, in Guatemala, Honduras and, Nicarag and Nicaragua with smallholder farmers and indigenous groups on natural resources management issues and agricultural issues uh, for nearly 10 years before, uh, after finis finishing my master's studies in agriculture and tropical development. And uh, I wanted to take a break and try to get back to the academia. I'm working on the relationship with, between gender relations and climate change and how the discourse of climate change, how the biophysical impacts of climate change affect gender relations in a small scale agricultural context. That means that how, for example, uh, more recurrent hurricanes, how um, shifting rain cycles in a small-scale agricultural settings change uh, gender relations. You know that in these type of countries, uh, women uh, tend to be the ones who are responsible for uh, water and fuel wood fetching. Uh, if there, for example, if there is less rain, they may have to go further to get this water and fuel. So there is a, there's a change in their roles. Uh, the, the, there's a change in, in, in what is happening with their, with their husbands, for example. For example, also with uh, climate change, um, uh, the husband's work may not be enough uh, to, to, to support the families. So women also have to work. That also changes gender relations. So what I'm looking at is, is, is these gender relations and how they are being affected by climate change through their biophysical impacts and also the discourse of climate change. Well, my future plans is have to do with my past plans. As I told you at the beginning, I used to work with small-scale farmers and indigenous groups in Central America. Another break I am taking to do my PhD is, on, is in order to, to understand better the issues on which I, I've been working before. So my plan is to, to get back and, and work with them with like a bigger knowledge or understanding of of the issues I'm, I'm, I used to face there and, and we are facing, such as climate change, um, agriculture related problems, gender inequalities, and, and so on. I think that there is no one global solution, there's no one global environmental problem, there's no one global solution, and we really need to understand how specific people in specific places are being affected and work on specific solutions also.